Hey there, Phil Carew, Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the Brickhouse Double Connecticut. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting some dry hay, milk chocolate, and cherry. All right, and this is officially my first viewer subscriber request, and this cigar was sent in by Aaron Hanselman. So thank you, Aaron. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the cigar request. The love, the memories. All right. Big one. All right. So right at the beginning here, a little bit of earth, some creaminess in there, a little bit of sweetness coming in. That's good. On the finish, finish has just a little bit of sweetness and just a hint of roasted coffee. There's a little bit of spice in there as well. The retro hill is extremely faint, but I'm just kind of getting this like sesame seed cracker in there, but very, very mild, very faint in there. The draw is just a little snug. Not, not a terrible draw, but just a little snug there. Smoke output's okay right now. And like I said, this was supplied by a viewer subscriber, um, Aaron Hanseman. And along those lines, if you guys care to request any specific cigars be reviewed, no problem. If I have them in my humidor, I'll be happy to review them. If I do not, um, I will let you know. And if you want to send that in, that's fine. That's no problem. That's exactly what Aaron Hansman did. He sent this in to me. So very cool. Really appreciate that. Also, I have got requests to do some more guest reviews. And um, I actually have a review coming up at some point here soon where the person asked for a specific cigar. And they asked me to do that cigar as a guest review. Um, with the guest reviewer. So if you've seen the Fratello Bianco review I did, that's what I'd be referring to. Um, and if you care to do that, what I ask you to do is go check out my comedy videos. And no, I'm not trying to build up views. Just go check out my comedy videos. If you see a guest reviewer in those characters that you would like, let me know. Give me the title of the, uh, the comedy video and I will get a review prepared um, for that guest reviewer. All right, we are well into the first third here. The burn has been good. No issues with the burn whatsoever. The draw, I think, is getting a little bit better. Smoke output's getting a little bit better. That's nice to have. Flavor-wise, still some earth, a little bit of sweetness, some nuttiness has come in every so often. Uh, the smoke is kind of creamy, not not full tilt creamy. Not like I feel like I'm drinking a uh, you know carton of half and half or whatever. Um, on the retro hail, still kind of that nice, just really, really faint sesame seed cracker in there. And also a little bit of earth has come in on the retro hail. On the finish, so that spice I was talking about at the beginning, that's gone. So no, uh, you know, tickle on my tongue. Um, you know, don't be a pervert. Um, just more like a, you know, really it's more like a popcorn. Just a plain popcorn, no butter. Uh, you know, uh, watching cholesterol and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I'm doing this review on my uh, last day of vacation, and we were actually in Tennessee for vacation. <sighs> so, I'm, we're driving down the road, and I see this um, camper trailer on the back of a truck. This guy had so many bumper stickers on that thing. I can't even tell you. I mean, you know, God bless you to all the people that like bumper stickers, but... I will say this guy was just one bumper sticker away from being completely obnoxious. So that was good. That was good. Kept himself in check. I like that. So some people might be wondering when uh, I'm going to do a giveaway. All right. Here's my plan. I plan on doing a giveaway when I reach 500 YouTube subscribers. I know that's kind of cliche, but I'm just going to stick with that because it's easy. Now, here's the catch. Um, I've already said in my channel news video I did a little while back, I've already said how I'm looking at doing those giveaways. Along with that, I'm also not going to do any type of giveaway video, okay? Um, the only giveaway video that I might do is the results, but I'm not going to do a giveaway video leading up to that. Here's why. And I could be totally wrong on this. I tend to think that people see those giveaway videos and then they subscribe so they can be part of that giveaway. I don't want to do that. I don't want subscribers based off what I'm going to give them. 
because the people that are watching this right now that are subscribers that become subscribers because they dig what I do, which that's why I want people to subscribe. So that's what I'm going to do. So more details will be will be forthcoming if I can talk. I always have a problem talking, if you notice. Uh, more details will be forthcoming as I get closer to 500. So stay tuned. And to the subscribers and viewers, I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> we are well into the second third here. Flavor-wise, getting some earth, a little bit of nuttiness in there still, and this uh, fruity note has come in. Not fruity like my personality, um, fruity like fruit. On the retro hail, some roasted coffee, and on the finish, some earth and roasted coffee. So that roasted coffee has been staying strong, much like the burn. The burn has been staying really good, um, kind of like Hercules. So that's good. Um, if you hear some background noise, I do have some guys doing some landscaping here. You might be asking yourself, well, Phil, why aren't you doing the landscaping? Well, uh, because I would guarantee that any of you watching right now could do my landscaping better than me. And not only could you do it better than me, you could probably do it better with your butt cheeks than I would be able to do it. So some of you might be asking yourself, hey, Phil, you were on vacation. Was it one of those vacations where you grew as a person? Um, probably not. I didn't really learn anything about myself. Um, I didn't conquer any fear. Um, components of this cigar, uh, like I said at the beginning, this is the double Connecticut. So you have the Connecticut shade for the wrapper. The binder is Connecticut broadleaf. And then the fillers are from Nicaragua. Now, the Connecticut shade and the Connecticut broadleaf are actually from Connecticut. Um, so they specify that in their description of this cigar on their website, which I would encourage you guys to go check that out. They have a pretty nice website, kind of give some pretty good details and stories about their cigars or backstory or the most tragic backstory ever. I don't think any of them have a tragic backstory, but you know, anyway, I would check it out. Um, all right. All right. Finishing out the cigar here. Flavor wise, getting some earth, some nuttiness and some sweetness. There has also been just a little bit of a mint in there every so often. So retrohale some earth. And then on the finish, that roasted coffee is staying strong in there. Earth and a little bit of that mint. So that's just what I'm getting. The burn has remained excellent on this. I have not touched the burn once. So that is pretty awesome. So as far as the rating for this cigar goes, the construction on this cigar was excellent. The flavors, if you like Connecticut's, you're going to like this cigar. The flavors were excellent. Very smooth smoke. Um, pretty, I would say, mild, mild to medium overall. I would give this cigar a two. Now, you have to remember with the two, that means that it's not something I would necessarily get again, and that's just a preference thing. But if you like Connecticut's, um, you'll probably love this Connecticut, you know, kind of like your mother. Um, I don't have any complaints about the cigar whatsoever. Okay. When it comes to Connecticut's, I've just had some that I like a little bit better. Um, so like I said, I'm pretty stingy with my money. So I put my money on stuff that I really, really like, but this was a good cigar. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 22 minutes. As always guys, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, thank you to Aaron Hanseman for sending in this cigar, requesting the review. I appreciate it. Any questions or comments you guys have, please leave them below. Also, for the um, giveaway, just one thing I wanted to mention on that. My giveaway I'm going to do a little bit different in that the winners are basically going to get to select what they receive. Uh, whether that be a five-pack, uh, some cigars and something, you know, a t-shirt, uh, five whoopee cushions, um, couple cases of toothpicks, whatever, gift card. I'll even do gift cards if you'd just rather spend it um, however you want to spend it when you want to spend it. No problem. So that's my plan. Anyway, guys, until next time, be cool to each other, and I'll see you soon. Champs, why don't you come take